Hello, I'm Professor Sunil Maheshwari. Today I'm going to show you an example of uh, reciprocal allocation of service department cost. So we'll be using Solver to allocate the service department cost to each other and other production departments. In this case, it is assumed that one service department renders services to the other service department. So let's assume that there are two service departments. One is the telecommunication and IT is the second one. Cars and trucks are the two production departments. The cost that needs to be allocated is two million from telecom and six million from the IT department. Let's assume that telecom renders 0% of services to itself, 20% of its services to IT, 45% of its services to car, and 35% of its services to truck. Similarly, IT renders 25% of services to the telecom department, 50% to cars, and 25% to truck. This is generally the basic data which is given to you, or you might have to compute this ratio for the services depending upon the cost driver that is, or the location base that is in use. To begin with, uh, we will have something called changing cells, which is telecom and IT. We start with a zero over here that is, this will provide the place where the, where the total cost of telecom and IT would show up after interdepartmental allocation, interdepartmental allocation. So once the cost from telecom has been allocated to IT and IT cost has been allocated to telecom, the answer would show up over here. The most important part over here is the simultaneous equations or what we call as the constraints for a linear uh, constraint for the linear programming uh, problem. So over here, telecom used so in this case, if you look at the telecom, telecom has six it's B6, which is 2 million of its own cost, plus B9 times A15. B9 is the 0%, and then A15 is what the cost would be after the location. Similarly, plus 20% of the cost is allocated to IT, So that is showing that B10 times B15. So B10 times B15. So telecom has zero of its own cost and 25% of the cost allocated from IT. Similarly, IT has six million of its own cost and 20% of the cost allocated from the telecom. And we are just putting that in an equation form. This is the cost after the allocation. So if you look at the telecom constraints, it has two million of its own cost. Telecom has 2 million of its own cost and 25% of cost allocated from IT. Similarly, for IT, it has 6 million of its own cost and 20 million of the cost allocated from telecom. And that is basically what has been shown over here. So B10, which is 25% of the cost times whatever the B15 after the location, the cost would have been. Similarly over here, for IT, 
six million of its own cost and 20% of the cost allocated from A15. Uh, you can see the formula by pressing control tilde and back if you press control tilde it will come back. Now before in the target cell over here is just the addition of the two over here which is A15 plus B15. And what we want is that after allocation, the simultaneous equation, uh, this B18 should be equal to the telecom cost after allocation and IT cost will be same as the IT cost after the allocation. So to begin with, we will first install the solver feature to install the solver feature, click on File, click on Options, click on Add-ins, click on Go, and make sure your solver add-in feature is checked, and click OK. Once you have done that, click on Data, and then over here, click on Solver. Your objective function is B23, which is this, which is the addition of the cost that is there after allocation. Changing variable cells is basically A15 and B15. And the constraints over here is that B18 is equal to the ID cost is equal to the telecom after allocation and the IT cost is the same as IT cost after allocation. Given those are the constraints, we hit solve. And once you hit solve, you will see that the two equations for two variables get solved and one variable which is telecom is 3.68 and 6.74 for IT. We also know that 3.68 million dollar is allocated 20 percent to IT, 45 percent to cars and 35 percent to trucks. So from 3.68, 20 percent of that is 74.74 45% of 3.68 is 1.66 million and 35% is 1.2 million. Similarly, 6.74 is allocated 25% to telecom, 50% to cars and 25% to truck, which would come out to be 1.68, 3.37 million for cars and 1.68 million for truck. The only thing which we put manually over here is for the telecom, since we are allocating this $3.68 million, so we just put my negative sign and uh, use A15 minus 3.68, and similarly over here, negative 6.74 million to allocate the uh, negative uh, 15, B15, to allocate the 6.74 million to the other departments. Once you have allocated the service department cost, the entire cost is now allocated to the cars and trucks. Cars would show at 5.3, 5.03 million, and trucks will show at 2.97 million. And that's how we have accounted for the $8 million of the cost that we started with. Thank you very much.